guys, Jeff the maintenance man. Um, we're out here with our lock and bar boiler. It just went into lockout. I'm gonna cut off the whole power to the unit just for now. I checked the gas. It did install a new gauge on this thing. But maybe that gauge is not working as well. One way to figure this out is if you don't know for sure if you've got gas in here or not. That magnetic, uh, there's a magnetic swiper that pulls that needle around. I'm sure we have gas, but it's one way to confirm that. <sighs> this is blinking off on low air though. It was giving me a one code. Low air, low air. So usually if we don't have gas, that's not our problem, so. pressure switch uh, cabinet's loose that's not gonna help anything this cabinet has to be tight for the work any air leakage this thing is very picky okay so it just fired yeah pre-purge it's gonna purge out everything Ah, crap. It's still... This is stripped. I don't know. Having this cabinet open doesn't really affect it because it's, it's sealed from down here and it's pulling out of this pipe here. Trial for ignition. This uh, this pressure switch right here is not. Duh, there's two of them. There might be. I can see why. It... So what I'm doing, I'm blowing in this hose. And I can hear a ticking. So, I can't hear that when the th damn thing's running, but. So that's not stuck, and I'm pretty sure it might be working. I can, well, if it's not really making contact, then, you know, I won't know without a meter. So, let's try this again, just one more time. Flip her on here. And. This is gonna help me any. I'll show you what I'm looking at. It's just a gas valve. It's got one blower motor, three gas valves for stage one, stage two, and one motor. And my god. Dang it man, there's nothing. All right, so I'm gonna double confirm first that we do have gas. And the way I'm gonna do that is fire up this generator. The generator don't run or it's... Actually, the generator has an alarm on it when it 
doesn't have the gas going to it. So, let's see. I think these controls are locked out. I think we got them locked out. Um, that way somebody can't just open that door like that and just press run. Like I just did. So you have to go behind the locked door here and enter the rat's nest. Yeah, we're up to four amps now. <laughs> So we'll just do a test and then I'll hit what is it? Up oh, no that's over over. Okay. Up down up down up, up, up. Yes, it's four zeros. Well, the generator is running. Transfer three, two, one. Transfer has been completed. So we're not out of gas because that's running. So we got some other things. Transfer three, two, one. And now it's just going to be loud as hell out there if I don't hit end so we just want to see if that thing if that thing uh, ran or not with the gas so we're not out of gas that's that's confirmative div this is saying low air damn it I don't know if it's a seal on one of these things or what but I kinda just can't. Well, that, that thing is off. Off of there. You need to be double safe. No one brings my mouth. Make a mouth number stuff. Get let's go. Let's go, Jeff. Let's go. Yeah, Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. Uh, is our tube cracked in any way? No. All right then. What? What's going on? So this connection right here was worrying me. This is not on that all the way. I don't think that's our problem either. Alright, let's see if we get a click here. Got a little sight glass right here. You can see this relay click on. Okay, I heard I heard the uh, flow switch click on. I'm just trying to figure out how, how's it. Okay, trial for ignition. You got a one blink. Low air. That that blinks the same as this ignition module. So. Hot water, and I'm gonna get a thousand calls about no hot water. So, 
This should, I want to stick by and make sure that the second stage lights up too. But these uh, boilers are pretty simple to work on. There's a pressure switch, there's an ignition module, stuff like that. I mean, really easy. We should be getting a second stage here momentarily. Right down here, there's a little little sight glass in there. Maybe y'all can see that or not. I don't know. Maybe y'all can see that or not. I don't know. But there's flames in there. You can look through there with your eyeball. And you can see the flames, how they dance. And I don't know. Maybe that, that igniter in there looks like it's staying on, actually. Which it shouldn't. I mean, if I had my meter, I could tell you, but I think it glows red hot because the flames are going over it. But yeah, you're looking for stage two. Turns on another two burners to get this thing up and going as quick as it can. Another thing I checked, these little babies right here, start pumps, they're not running. If they're not running, the damn thing won't try to fire up because the float, there's a flow switch right here that's monitoring the air, the water flow. If these aren't jettisoning this stuff through, then uh, that float switch has a little paddle in it. And if there's not enough pressure, that thing will kill the whole, it'll kill pretty much the whole unit. time they called somebody out here to look at this they said uh, we need the we need the whole new automatic ignition control because the guy's like it's not doing what it's supposed to do and all that so then that was on a Friday also just like it is today and I came out here and I said uh, well you're out of gas it ain't got no gas in it you see there, Scooter? Things are the simplest things first. There's no gas in the tank. And that's why I fire up this generator beside it. Uh, so I, could, I know that for, for a fact that we do have gas and it doesn't make me look that stupid. So, Whew, that thing's exhausting. So I guess we fixed it with just a jiggle and a wiggle. I don't know how, again, like, I don't know how that, how that, uh, got like that. But, uh, that little, uh, yeah, stage two usually comes on by now. Maybe it didn't need it. But the water's already getting hot though, so. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna be running out this way any anyway. So uh my car's parked right over there in the parking lot, so I gotta go take that little doom buggy back and uh we'll see. Oh we did some customization to the uh to the little guy over here. I'm gonna see it here in a bit. Yes. <clears throat> it's the Raptor SVT. It has now been branded. The Raptor. Alright guys, I'm Jeff Tomatoes Man. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Till next time, y'all hang in there and stay safe.